So you're most probably still at the hospital after your amputation. The most important thing to keep in mind in this phase is to help you prevent development of any contractures. In this video, we'll show you what to keep in mind. Hi, I'm Manali and I'm a physiotherapist. I'm here at the Autobox Center in Mumbai and I would like to invite Derek to help us understand how we can prevent muscle contractures. Hi Derek, how are you doing today? Hi Manali, I'm good, thank you. So why don't you tell us something about your experiences? I've been an amputee since 2017 and as an amputee, it is important to know what a muscle contracture is and how to prevent it. So, let's talk about it. So Derek, why don't you lie down and make yourself comfortable? Sure. So muscle contracture is a permanent shortening of your musculature which reduces the joint mobility. In order to maintain a natural walking pattern, it is important that you use the entire range of motion of the joint. Hence, it is important to prevent the muscle contracture right from the beginning. Muscle contractures are formed by scar tissue tightening, fascia reduction, circulatory disorders and inflammation. However, the main reason to develop a muscle contracture is improper bedding. You can easily develop a muscle contracture due to insufficient movement of the residual limb and if you keep it in a flexed position over a long period of time. Just like that, you see, my joint is clearly flexed here. So, I wouldn't want my residual limb to be in this position for so long. Exactly, Derek. It's important, hence, that we keep it extended as long as possible. We can only provide you a general advice. Your physiotherapist, the nursing staff and the doctor are in a better position to individually examine you and determine your personal health status.